Hi guys, so I was thinking about putting up some videos of my family traditions, particularly our cooking, our candy recipes and um, things of that nature. And I've been really thinking about it and I've been thinking I don't want to hurt anybody in the family's feelings, like maybe they don't want the all of our traditional recipes put out there for everybody in the world to see on YouTube. Um, not that anybody watches my channel, but, um, but then I thought about it some more and I would really like to do this. Um, I don't, I want to be able to carry on my family's traditions. I was thinking, you know, well, what if something, something happened to me or what if the house caught on fire? Our, our recipes would be lost. So, um, I'm not sure how many other people have these recipes in my family. Um, and I know that I don't have all of them, and I would love to have all of them, but the ones that I do have, I do love, and I use them almost every year. So I thought I would share some of them with you. Um, now, the recipes I'm making today is not a family tradition. I actually just started making this last year when I try, um, tried to start staying away from, well actually it was a little longer than that ago, but last year was the first time I made this recipe. I started get, getting away from preservatives and food dyes and high fructose corn syrup and um, a plethora of other ingredients in our food. So. I don't do anything, I don't really go organic, I just try to stay away from the chemicals, I try to eat real food. Um, so with that, I thought I would show you how I make our peppermint patties. So Okay, so here we go. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is two and a quarter cups of powdered sugar, three tablespoons of soft butter, two spoon, teaspoons of peppermint extract and two tablespoons of cream or half and half you know whichever milk if you if you don't have either one of those you'll also need to mix or melt 12 ounces of chocolate chips in a double boiler now if you don't have a double boiler please don't go out and buy one just Put some boil some water in a in one of your regular pots and put a bowl, preferably aluminum, not glass, so it doesn't crack. Um, and just do it that way. You'll want to do it on medium heat until it's all and keep stirring until it's all melted. Mine's not all the way melted yet. Um, now I prefer to use dark chocolate in my recipes. I just like dark chocolate better. I think milk chocolate tends to be a little too sweet, so. That's it. There. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix all these ingredients together in this bowl and then I'm going to um, scoop them out with this and put them on this lined cookie sheet. I have it lined with wax paper, wax side up. And then um, I'll roll them out, press my thumb into them or my finger in them so there's a little dip, dip and then dip them in the chocolate. And then I'll be right back. Okay guys, when I wrote down the recipe last year, I must have written down the wrong um, measurements. So for the butter, you need two tablespoons of butter, not three tablespoons. I had to correct my recipe. Okay, and so here I have them all rolled out, and they are just a little bit bigger than um, like a normal sized marble, I guess. And so now what I'll do is I will go ahead and press them down one by one and make them more of into a patty shape. I've already got one tray done over there and I'll get this one done and then I'll roll them in chocolate. And here is the finished product. Now when I was making these I remembered that when you're dipping the mints in chocolate you want to work pretty quickly. The mints will soften up um, when they're in the hot chocolate and they can get a little mushy. Um, you can refrigerate them for, you know, 
40 minutes to an hour beforehand and then dip them in the chocolate. But I have found that that doesn't really help that much. So um, just just work quickly and get it done and it'll be fine. Um, if I get a chance, it's getting pretty late, but if I get a chance, I will put a picture um, in once they have all cooled and set up and I clean them up and they're all done and get them plated. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.